What's the connection between Walt Disney and the El Toro Marine Base? It has to do with the Flying Bull logo featured during World War II, and it's the feature of the latest exhibit here at the Great Park Gallery. So during World War II, Walt Disney Productions designed over 1,200 insignias and donated it during the war effort. And it just so happens that Walt Disney Productions designed the Flying Bull for Marine Corps Air Station El Toro. Dave Marshall was stationed at the El Toro Marine Base in 1958. You saw the bull, it was located throughout the base, whether it was the bowling alley or at the movie theater or just everywhere around. And you just were used to it. Uh, I wear it one. I wear it now because I, I belong to the Marine Corps League, and the chapter, or I should say, the detachment here in Orange County is is named Marine Corps Air Station El Toro. Russ Frank, a retired lieutenant colonel for the U.S. Air Force, is familiar with another Walt Disney logo used on planes he flew. When we started flying, we didn't have a logo, uh, the 303rd. And because we are air sea rescue and we flew a kind of an awkward airplane, an SA-16, we nicknamed it Dumbo. And it caught on and somebody said, hey, we're local here in Southern California. Maybe Disney wouldn't mind if we borrowed Dumbo and lived happily ever after. In addition to the historical black and white photos in the gallery, there's a collection from current artists. You know, as this is a tribute to all the you know, insignias with a brief history of the artwork that was created during World War II, we also asked 10 artists that currently work for Disney or work as a contractor for Disney, and they all did a tribute to the Flying Bull using their own medium, whether it's paper, whether it's ink, or even we have one that was made out of felt. On the back wall, photographs taken by Legacy Project members looking to preserve the past. As part of the Legacy Project, we're six artists who got together in 2003 to document this space for 15 years. The pictures behind us are all representations of the bull that uh, Walt Disney initially drew that were put on, painted on the sides of buildings, all of which are gone except one control tower. That's the only one left now. Uh, the particular photograph that I, I've taken that's relevant to the Walt Disney uh, uh, show which we have here was of the gymnasium with the bowl was in the center of the court and the sliver of light just uh, was very fortuitous that I was there at the right time. I kind of like the philosophy of the piece, it's like the light is leaving because not long after that the gymnasium was torn down. Stephen James Daly, a Disney artist, explains the concept behind his work. When they asked me to do it, that uh, was a reinterpretation of the bull. But when I saw the bull and the other insignias from the examples that they sent me, I was really excited to do more than just the bull. I wanted to incorporate them all into the design. And so it started with Donald riding the bull. And, and then from there, I just it kind of organically flowed in the sketch. I like, I like mascots. I like, I like logos. And to do something like this was it's, it's an interesting take on a character. And, going back to Disney and wartime era, I to take all these characters that everyone knew, like Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and Pluto and etc., all those characters, and put them into these scenarios where they're protecting America and supporting the troops. It was a pretty interesting take. So being World War II and being the aircraft at the time, we had some of the most advanced aircraft at the time, and um, El Toro was leader in that. So uh, the very precise kind of engineering and schematic type of work that happened here, I wanted that to be represented in the artwork. The walls tell a story and take you on a journey from the 1940s till today, making it relatable for people of all ages. The exhibit is, is terrific in terms of it lays out a story rather than just odd art, artwork, but there is a story that is, is connected. And then when you start to look at some of the other pictures, uh, for example, my friend was looking at the 18th Armored Division, this, this picture that's over behind me. Uh, 18th Armor. He was in First Armor, <laughs> which was up in in, uh, in Alaska, and so consequently, you know, it, 
brings back those kinds of memories of saying, oh, I remember that airplane, or I remember those kinds of pictures. I wanted to come and bring the whole family. I know that my kids are familiar with the Disney characters, and we really like the history of Walt Disney in general, and just kind of seeing um, his role in the war and kind of showing the kids that how cartoons were actually used as promotional um, campaigning for World War II and how things have changed over the years, I felt was kind of important. To check out the Walt Disney and the Flying Bull exhibit for yourself, just go to their website for more information. By the way, admission is free. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twag.